I'm Leslie Weiner. Uh, I'm a, a professor of neurology uh, and professor of molecular uh, microbiology and immunology at USC uh, Keck School of Medicine. Uh, I think people should realize that there have been studies that show that if an MS patient gets the flu, it's associated with 20% of the time with an acute exacerbation and worsening. So it is a very serious illness for MS patients. Uh, we have looked at uh, over 30 years of data related to flu vaccinations uh, in this country and in Europe, uh, and we can only say is that there's no evidence that the vaccines in the past and the current vaccine will uh, be any different in a person with MS than without it. Now, vaccines always have risk, and the MS patient's risk is no different than the person who doesn't have MS. So if you compare the risk, which is there but minimum, versus getting the flu, getting the flu is a very serious thing for MS patients. So we recommend that they get the seasonal flu and they get the H1N1 flu. The exceptions being the following. If they're allergic to eggs, they should not get the flu. They should not get a live flu, which their children is getting. And that means if you have children and you, they're getting the live vaccine, you realize that they're gonna shed for about two or three days after they get it. So it's probably important that you recognize the fact that when they get their live vaccine, which is all the children are getting the, the mist and the live vaccine, that they sort of be careful in the first two or three days after their children get it. Because most people now don't have the H1N1 vaccine yet. They have the seasonal flu, but the H1N1 they don't have, but they should get it as soon as they can. The only other thing is if they've had a flu shot and they had a serious reaction of any sort, they probably shouldn't get the flu shot.